Alexander de Vries is going to be here. I need to know who else is attending and what they discuss. By the time you get out, the help I requested should have arrived. Just who is this help you keep referring to? Not now, Joanna. Time for radio silence. Good luck. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Daniel. Alright, so we're in for a pretty tough mission here. We're gonna have to be quick, and we're gonna have to be efficient. Now, unfortunately, usually we try to avoid killing civilians, but I've, I haven't really found another way to do this. Uh, Basically, in this stage, there's a whole bunch of civilians, and some of them are included. Um, included among those civilians are detectives. If they detect, if they find you out, they will call in, the call in the police. And once that happens, you're pretty much screwed. So, like I said, I haven't really found another way to do this other than killing the detectives. If we just kill the two of them, it should be fine. That way, it do we don't kill too many civilians. But we're gonna have to be quick about it. The G5 Corporation is believed to be a front for Datadyne. Care is needed due to the civilian presence on the streets. Expect intense resistance outside and inside the building. Our recon team reported that the buildup of truce started hours ago. Remember your urban combat training. It will come in very useful if the situation hasn't changed since the recon team's report earlier. One more thing, Joanna. There's a security robot patrolling the streets. Stay away from it if at all possible. Yeah, there's an invincible robot drone that's patrolling the main street. If it sees you, it'll shoot you on sight, and it's completely invincible. Alright, so first objective, retrieve the drop point equipment. Small package of equipment for you, hidden in one of the storm drains. Objective 2, prepare the escape route. There's a disused fire escape behind the G5 building that will be useful in your escape. Prepare the ground now by attaching by attaching explosives to a blocked up doorway. Alright, so we, we can't explode it right away, otherwise we'll fail the mission. Objective 3, create a ve vehicular diversion. Reprogram the autopilot gui guidance computer on the cap to cause it to crash nearby, and then gain entry to the G5 building. Now we can't get anywhere near the G5 building because if the guards see us, the the building will automatically be put on lockdown, and then we fail the mission. So we have to create a diversion first. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Oh Alright, that was a guard. That's a detective, we've taken him out now. The other detective is this way. Okay, that takes care of the detectives. So we can't kill any more civilians. Damn, we took a lot of damage there. Get me. Should be one more dude. Oh, nope, that was all of them. Right, I don't know if we'll be able to do this mission now with so little health, but we'll give it a try. Oh, that's the security drone. Here's our equipment. We got a remote mine and a reprogrammer. We need to duck down so we can get through this little storm, uh, little drain here. Probably gonna attract the other enemies in the area. Yep. A 
I've got a clear shot. Not anymore, you don't. Let him come to us. Ooh, got him in the leg. Nice. It looks like we got him. Those little drains, by the way, don't really lead to anywhere. I think they're just for hiding. Alright, the drone's coming back. We'll have to wait for it to go back again so that we can pro reprogram that taxi cab. to it. And now we need to plant our remote mine to make our escape in the next mission. Either of those blocked up doors will do as an escape route. Now he does say that you can use either door, but I would always suggest going for the bottom one. Because it's right near the end of the set of your last objective in the next mission. There we go. That created a version for us. All right, let's get to that building. Yep, we made it, Daniel. Barely, but we made it. New cheat available, DK mode. But yeah, the, the toughest part is probably at the very start of the mission, because those detectives, if they call in the police, you're pretty much done. I, I hate that we have to kill the civilians, but as I said, I don't really know another way to do it as very quickly. I've tried to disarm them and I've tried to knock them out, but it just as it never worked out for me. All right, next mission, the G5 building. Let's rock. Tactical roll. dead. But now they know you're here. Once inside G5 headquarters, proceed into the heart of the building where the meeting should be taking place. Obtain a visual record of the meeting and get out as quickly as possible. The G5 building has an integrated alarm system. Watch out for any guards who see you as they're sure to try and activate it. This will alert the conspirators who will almost certainly not go ahead with the meeting under such circumstances. Softly, Joanna. Objective 1, deactivate the laser grid systems. So we need to turn those off to get to the meeting room. Next we need the hol a holograph, holograph meeting conspirators, which 
which we'll use our camp spy for. Objective 3, retrieve backup from the safe. Dr. Carroll informed Daniel of a backup personality that is stored in a safe in the G5 building. If we obtain it, it would mean that we could restore the personality to Dr. Carroll at a later date. And finally, exit the building. Destroy the blocked up door to create your exit. If you remember which level of the fire escape is outside, you may save yourself some time. Now in this area, this part's going to be a little tough because we're going to have to deal with enemies that are invisible. Now, they only reveal themselves when they shoot at you, but if you can manage to see them while they're invisible, you can still shoot at them. Alright, so here we go. Them. We got the guard's key card. You do have to kill them both in order to get the key card, by the way. There's someone here. Now, I'm pretty sure that guy was next to an alarm, so it's good that we took him out quickly. Alright, more invisible dudes coming. Come on, show yourselves. There should be one more, I think. his key card too. Now somehow this guy doesn't see us at all. Look out! She's coming! No the other. <laughs> oh man. Well, we failed, so we're gonna have to start over unfortunately. They found us. Try that again. Did he just try to go in melee range with me there? That was weird. Right, so I'll have to fight these dudes again. Try not to mess up this shot this time. Headshot. Alright, we're gonna have to be quick in here. Oh no, you don't. Hey. All 
Alright, looks like that was all the dudes that were near an alarm. See you. Hmm. Apparently, we turned down the dampening field generator. Whatever that is. Alright, I think that's all the guards, so now we need to turn off the laser grid. It's this switch. That's one. Don't mess with that, that's the alarm. Here's number two. Number three. And number four. All right, now we can get past all the laser grids just fine. Listen in, then. We've recovered the sapient from Carrington and altered its programming. It no longer has a personality, so there will be no further incidents. This will Poor reduce Dr. its efficiency. My team will have to take it to the core themselves. This will endanger them. You should have anticipated that the sapient might develop a troublesome moral code. One could have predicted that, and I resent being singled out for blame. What about him? Him? Who's he? The president turned down the request for the loan of the Pelagic Two. Could it be you overestimated your influence over him? No. Perhaps I underestimated his resolve. We have a contingency plan ready to go. And we will move as soon as the presidential entourage arrives at the airbase. Entourage. All I need from the president is a tissue sample. <laughs> Assuming you don't get any interference. If Carrington has pieced together enough of this, he will have called for reinforcements. There will be no outside help from Mr. Carrington. The technology you gave us is installed in Nevada and fully Nevada. operational. <laughs> we can intercept any craft they use. Then the devices we gave you are working correctly. Good, because we believe anything which does not work correctly should be destroyed. Oh. Consider that as you follow your backup plans. Hmm. Wonder who that scary gu blonde guy in the trench coat is. And the guy in the red suit, not sure what his name is, but he kind of sounded like Daniel with a slightly different accent. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Alright, so from here on out, our Falcon 2 is not going to be much use. We need to switch back to our machine gun. Almost done with this mission. Ow! I think that's what he sa said. All the bad guys from around here. Looks like it. Also, that's going to be our escape route there. That's where we planted the remote mine on the lower part of the fire escape outside during the last mission. The safe's heavily encrypted. The decoder's going to take a little long. All right, now as soon as we start trying to hack into the safe here, we're going to sound an alarm. So we're going to have to fend off enemies while this is happening. Be ready. In the 
meantime, while that's happening, we'll go ahead and blow up our mine. And we need to hold out here for at least a minute. While well, the door's decoding. Let's just hold off the last of the enemies. Okay, we got the back of this. Now to get out of here. Okay, we made it. Goodbye, dummies. Agent Dark reporting in. Prepare to receive a download of the meeting data. Priority request for an institute support team to protect the president before he goes to Alaska. No time for that now, Agent Dark. There's been a development during radio silence. The craft carrying those flames I was talking about was shot down over Nevada. Oh, crap. The responsible was found from Area 51. That's where the survivors and debris will have been taken. You're to prep for immediate dispatch when you return here. Carrington out. Area 51? But what about the president? <laughs> I guess Area 51 is more important at this point, Joanna. So we've unlocked the small Joe cheat. That's neat. <laughs> a neat cheat. Alright, so I think from here we'll decline the mission and return to the Carrington Institute. Alright guys, so I think this is going to be a good stopping point for today. We've gotten through six of the missions, so that's a pretty good... A pretty good... Um, what am I trying to say? pretty good amount of progress for a recording session. We still have about about 12 more to go, so I would think that if we do two more recording sessions, we can get the main missions out of the way, and then there's the bonus bonus missions as well. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for now. When you guys join me next time, we'll be starting uh, we'll be starting mission 6. Well, mission 4 in this case, or stage seven, whatever you want to call it, Area 51 Infiltration. So I'll see you then, guys.